And I balance the Fuji X-H2 with the XF 90 millimeter lens on the Hohem MT2 gimbal. So I've already installed the base plate um, for the gimbal kit. And I typically put it on and align it with the back of the camera. That's just my starting point. Um, if I need to make another adjustment, I could always do so. So this slides on to this slot here. So you just slide it on. All right, you lock it down. So the first axis you're going to balance is a tilt axis and that's controlled by this adjustment here. So the gimbal is currently locked on all axes, uh, tilt axis, uh, roll axis and the pan axis, they're all locked. So you unlock the tilt axis, of course it's going to fall. So be careful not to hit the lens. So you want it to sit up upright like this. So you're gonna make adjustments and slide this back and forth, loosen this, but slide this back and forth. So I've loosened this uh, over here. So I wanna slide it to where it will sit. Oh, maybe the other direction. So, uh, first try, okay. So you want it to sit upright like that, so then you can lock it down by turning, by retightening this lever. So now you've got it, the first step balanced on a tilt axis. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be close. So now we turn the gimbal like this, and we wanna balance the second part of the tilt axis. So we want the gimbal, of course, to set like this. So you loosen this lever and you're going to slide the camera until it stays horizontal. Lock it down like this. As you can see, it's approximately on just inside the about a one and a quarter on the gauge. So, next step, we want to balance the roll axis. So that's done. And you do leave this one. You can leave this one unlocked for now. Um, but you unlock here. So now you can see it's trying to roll, of course, off balance. You want it to stay like this. So that adjustment's done here. Slide it here. Slide some more. Slide some more until it stays like that. Perfect. All right, so that one's done. So now I'll lock those, the top two axes, axes. So now for the pan axis, that'll be this adjustment here. So, and it's done by sliding the, the uh, camera back and forth. So you don't want it to be heavily uh, bobbed into one of the sides so, or the other. So you adjust here, slide it back. Oops. All right. I locked it, I locked it by accident there. There we go. All right, hold it at 45 degree angle. You won't, don't want it oscillating. So adjust a little more. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's got to be close where it doesn't go back and forth. So that looks pretty good. All right. So lock it down. Sorry, on lock. So now we want to test to see if the gimbal is actually balanced. And you want to lock each one of the axes. Well, that one's already locked. Locked. I'll lock this. Lock this one. So now it's locked. So now we can turn. We can. Uh, I'm sorry. Unlock the axes. Going backwards. Lock, lock, lock. Turn on the 
gimbal. You can see a ton. You don't see any error codes here, which means that a uh, good chance of it being balanced. So you want to kind of move it around a little bit just to check to see if any error codes pop up. And my final test is to test the vortex function. And that's done by holding it here and tapping the M button three times. One, two, three. So if the camera's not balanced on the gimbal, it would not make this turn. It would stop halfway through and quit, and then it would jump to finish the turn. But it looks pretty good. So, so our gimbal is balanced. Looking pretty good. All right, I think we got it. And it is balanced with the 90 millimeter F2 Fuji XF lens. OEM MT2.